we go back to the start menu, let's see what else we can take a look at. Um, up here, you can change your user tile. You can lock the computer, you can log off, and you can add a user. Right clicking at this screen doesn't really do anything. Um, so come back over here, then you have anything you installed that's new will populate over here. You can drag them, rearrange them however you want. Um, you can right click, you can unpin, remove, etc. Let's see what else we got. Ah, so if we come back to the start menu in the lower right, left hand corner, you go to settings. Settings will pop up over here. You can see your, your Wi-Fi network, uh, your volume, your brightness, language, and power. You can shut down, sleep, restart. Uh, you can disable notifications. You can enable them. Uh, doesn't do anything. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, this will show you devices. Uh, you can share, and you can search. <coughs> anyway, all right. So over the start screen. Um, you want to search for something you there is no search menu here there's no search bar there's no way to get to it um, so first you're kind of like well how do I get to the other applications I have that aren't on here what if I unpin something and I want to find it say I want to I unpin the desktop right it's gone um, I can go back to the Windows 7 interface but there's nowhere for me to add it back I mean you just, you just can't find it I mean, you can show desktop from here but um, from this interface, you don't have it anymore, and you, there's no right clicking, uh, left clicking won't do anything. Sorry, uh, clicking all the way on the left will bring you back to whatever you had before. But uh, there's no way to get to it, and this was quite frustrating at first. But um, the way they had it set it up is actually quite intuitive. So, what you do is you just start typing. So, I want to find desktop, desktop. Then it finds everything with desktop. So, I got desktop gadget, remote desktop, and the actual desktop. Um, right click it, you come down here, pin it. And if I go back to my start menu, go all the way to the right, it's now been re-added to my start menu. Now, I'm going to place it right back. Simple as that. Uh, anything else you want? Team Viewer, Office. Oops, I can spell. You know, office will come up. I want Word. Uh, if you don't type anything, it'll just show you a straight list of everything you have installed, uh, broken down in alphabetical categories, obviously. Um, it's quite nice. I like it. Big fan of this. I like this a lot more than the little start menu and having to go through my trees of different folders in my start menu. It's quite annoying. This has everything one spot and it's quite simple to find what I need quickly and get to it. Um, let's go back. So I also wanted to show you guys, um, I don't know what the official term is, but basically it's docking on either, either side of, of um, your screen. Uh, so let's open up the weather app. Um, we can bring back the Sorry about that. Um, cycle back to the weather app. And so if you drag it out, instead of just clicking it to switch, you hang on to it. And if you actually, if you slide it back, you'll 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 cycle through what you have. So you, you see, so it's Explorer, and I have a control panel. Now it's now it's the other Explorer that I had open. And you kind of just leave it here. And it also works on the other side, on either side of um, your main screen. And you release it. It, it will it'll stay over here and depending on um, what what the developer has done uh, it'll show different things so for example if I if I drag this over and make the weather app uh, over to the side it'll it'll rearrange itself so that you can see uh, both of the cities that I have designated there and you, you can use this as your primary you can still also scroll um, within that window too so yeah so another thing I wanted to show you guys here is the ribbon implementation throughout uh, Windows 8. I noticed it when I was in uh, the Explorer. As you can see up here, it's now ribbon. Uh, you can go home, share, uh, view, can appear, you can, uh, well not, not from there, but uh, from like my downloads, you can create a new folder, you can go properties right away, you don't have to right click. I mean you still can, but um, everything is pretty much right here, easy access. Uh, it's kind of cool. That's it for me. Uh, check out Mobility Digest. I think there's a guide if you want to dual boot Windows 7 and Windows 8, or I'm pretty sure it'll work with other OS's as well. Um, I'll have a link to that if you want to check that out and give Windows 8 a try. Uh, everything else, I, like, I haven't experienced any bugs uh, other than not being able to install drivers at first, but after restart and changing my resolution, everything installed fine, didn't have any more problems. So uh, it's definitely usable. I'm not sure if I want to switch over as you know as, as 
my primary computer as as Windows 8 just because it's it's you know developer build it's not meant for for everyday use so um, be aware of that before going in and installing it on your primary computer but it is cool and uh, I am dual booting it and I'm actually using it more than Windows 7 for the past couple days uh, I've installed on most of my stuff and I'm in the process of installing the rest of it and getting them all up and running so that I can just leave Windows 7 there as a backup for in case you know Windows 8 screws up but it's looking very promising and I can't wait for this to be official. All right, thanks for watching guys.